You're listening to Rebel Spirituality with me, Sam Goldfinch. Here's the truth. Wisdom doesn't follow rules. So each week we're going to explore what it means to wake up your way so you can live a more peaceful, creative and inspired life no matter your circumstances. It's time to blaze your unique path to truth. Hey Rebels, just a quick 30 second message from me to say the doors to the mystery school are closing on the 7th of February this coming Wednesday. So if you have been on the fence, if you're considering coming and if you have any questions, be sure to email me at hello at rebelspirituality.com. You can hit the links with all the information below in the show notes. Um, We're going to have such a great time. It's such a fantastic group of people coming together. And um, yeah, there are a couple, there are a couple of spots left um, if they haven't been filled over the weekend prior to me recording this. Um, So feel, please feel free to to reach out and, uh, and ask me any questions you've got. All right, team. Huge love. Hey, friends. Okay, right. So this week, before we uh, hop into the podcast, I just want to read out a review that someone's left. It's absolutely awesome. They said, uh, they said this, this is from, this is from Review Faz. Thanks, Review Faz. They said, uh, this is a really thoughtful podcast that always leaves me contemplating who I am and who I want to be. I can revisit them as many times as I like and get something new out of it. Thanks for sharing. Now, that's exactly what I was hoping. I was hoping that these 10 or 15 minute snippets, five minutes sometimes even, would contain within them something that if we were to realize some of the things that are being spoken about each week, would they would be a game changer for our life. Just one of them. Just one of them. One one spiritual fact realized or one uh, one truth known in a way that we didn't know it before would change the game forever right for us so uh so i love that thank you for sharing and for anyone who's got the time to go leave me a review it's such a great way of people finding me in the podcast and stuff so i'd really appreciate it and um yeah they're they're very much appreciated so thank you very much okay right this week this week we're going to talk about accepting where you're at accepting where you're at because i think for many of us on this journey we've been perhaps reading around spiritual stuff for a long long time maybe not maybe we've just started reading around it maybe we picked up the power of now or maybe we've been reading michael singer's work or wherever we happen to be we could be a kind of like a seasoned yogi someone who's trained in yoga and has spent many many years reading there are times in our life where the things that we feel like we in air quotes should be doing or should be feeling or the level that we should be coming at right is in conflict with the truth of how we're feeling so perhaps we actually feel a bit victimy perhaps we feel like we're a victim of a circumstance even though we know that we shouldn't and really we aren't perhaps there are times when we're saying to my, ourselves you know i really get it intellectually i really get that i'm always one with life but right now i don't feel like that i feel really fill the blank or perhaps another time there's some deep sadness that needs to be honored but we're kind of not honoring it because we feel like we shouldn't be feeling that way now the thing is this is a form of bypassing right it, we're all human we think and we have feelings and we've got to honor where we're at and perhaps as part of our shadow being released perhaps there's some conditioning that's been there for decades that's finding its way out it's a really really positive thing and very often when we're kind of telling ourselves oh, i should be should be beyond that i shouldn't be feeling that right now we're resisting it we're resisting it and it doesn't find its expression it doesn't find its way through doesn't find its way out of the system it's just energy right it's all just energy doesn't mean we're doing it wrong now what's sitting behind it very often is that shift in consciousness is that moment where we kind of wake up to the truth of who we are um but there are times when we forget it you know we, we go outside in we feel like our experience is coming from anywhere anywhere other than from within us right we feel like it's coming from outside of us and anytime we fall for that we've fallen for a trick and but it's okay it's okay and i and i from my own personal experience i know that from a lot of the reading i did when i was in my 20s i'd collected a lot of ideas i understood a lot of a lot of stuff intellectually right or i another way of putting it is that i i thought i understood you know i thought i'd really got it right but the reality is it hadn't fully landed. I hadn't realized it as true. And so when things came along and when I felt these deep emotions, I would often try and tell myself I was beyond it or tell myself I didn't need to feel it. Or, you know, someone who's been on the path, someone who's been waking up, you know, feelings of this, they shouldn't be there anymore or whatever. But if they are, they are. It's already happened. 
And so acknowledging them and accepting them allows them to flow through. And then and we find ourselves back at home. We're always at home, but there's often something bumbling around on top of it that's kind of eclipsing it. So, so yeah, wherever you are this week and whatever's going on, honor what's happening. I was, I was chatting to a lady the other day and she really felt like because of a lot of the work that she'd been doing that she shouldn't be having the feelings that she was currently having she should be beyond them right or and and she was in conflict and the first thing we did was really honor where she was we felt it we realized she realized that she could breathe that she could handle it she could be with the emotions be with the feelings breathe through them sit with them and the wisdom and intelligence behind life is is doing the work for us. Feeling is healing. Feeling is healing. It's going to clear that stuff through. But for all the time that we're trying to figure it out intellectually or innocently telling ourselves off because we, we should be beyond it, as I say, we're going to keep it locked in, right? So it's, as I say, it's another form of bypassing. It's a bit of repeating there, but I think it's important because there may well be patterns in your life where this is happening and, and sit with it this week. Is it, is it happening for you? Is there a part of your life where you do feel pissed off, where you do feel angry, where you do feel whatever it might be? Allow that, breathe, don't judge it, right? Any emotion, any raw, pure emotion with the judgment story taken away takes the suffering away and it leaves us with the just the raw sensation of the emotion, all of which are just fine, all of which are safe. Um, it's the other stuff on top, the, the judgment and the self-recrimination that really makes us it just digs its heels in and we feel that as well as the original emotion. Um, and it doesn't have to be like that. All right, team, honor where you are and know that at the deepest level, you're already there. Like you're whole, you're complete. It doesn't mean anything about you, about who you really are, because there's some anger moving across the screen of consciousness. Like it's, it only means the things that we make it mean in our head. And the quickest way to release something is to release the judgment, right? to stop resisting it, to stop it will, and it will stop pers persisting, right? What we resist, it persists. So honor it, be honest with yourself. Perhaps it's going for that walk and letting that energy out, going for that run and letting that energy out, actually like letting out that scream or laughing, whatever it is, actually just, just let that, let that flow through and trust in, in the wisdom of the, of the body. All right, team, hope you have an amazing week. Good to be with you and I'll see you soon.